Well, you realize how hard it is for me praising Ubuntu, but I don't really have a choice, because this is pretty awesome. The main advantages of ZFS for desktop users, is that we can get reliable and fast snapshots and rollbacks, plus it is very easy to manage ZFS partitions, although Ubuntu doesn't provide any GUI tools just yet. Before the demo let me bust two myths. First, ZFS is actually a proprietary file system to Oracle. Technically, by ZFS and Linux we mean OpenZFS, that is not even compatible to ZFS. And second, OpenZFS is open source under CDDL, which is incompatible with Linux GPL license, but Fedora is totally allowed to ship it if they want. At least that's my understanding. Okay, time to start the installation, and here I'm using an Ubuntu daily image from 5th of October, an Ubiquiti version 19.10.14, that is the initial release with the ZFS support. For now ZFS is an experimental feature, and one of the limitations is that it needs a full disk. So we don't get any custom partition options, and we can't either install it next to another system, at least not on the same disk. Ok, let's quickly review what the installer did to our disk. So, we have an ext4 boot partition. And then we have an extended with two ZFS volumes. My full disk was 15 gigabytes, the first is 2 gigs, and the other the remaining 13 gigs. If we list the ZFS pools, we'll see a B pool, that is for boot stuff like kernels, and our pool, which is our root partition that includes everything. You can pause the screen to see some more details, and meanwhile I will make some more reading on ZFS, but quite honestly, this is so sweet system to have. It is probably the only interesting thing Ubuntu did in the last 10 years. Do you feel your bones start to shake? Do you feel the earthquake? Do you feel your bones start to shake? Do you feel the earthquake? Do you feel your bones start to shake? Do you feel the earthquake? 